<laughs> here's how the li- now, and this goes back to. I mentioned J.J. Watt was on McAfee yesterday and said I wouldn't be able to demonstrate a hip drop tackle if you wanted me to. And his whole idea is, well, let's just go ahead and play flag football. I mean, we. we That's a little overdoing it, J.J. Right. I don't. I don't. I don't want to get into a thing with J.J. But one thing J.J.'s got to realize, J.J. I'm speaking to you directly. I know you watch the show every day. You probably have never watched it. So, um, if you're going to have a platform in the media, you got to be a little more responsible. You can't just bring the meathead defensive players. You know, they're, t- they're, they're trying to turn it into flag football. you you got to modulate that a little bit because there's a responsibility to the sport. And to, to downplay this clear effort by the league to move on from the hip drop tackle is not productive because it's about player safety. This isn't about the, the typical things we'll complain about with officiating or whatever. This is about player safety, and this is a real issue that's been identified. And if you don't know what it is, educate yourself before you comment on it. That's all I'll say. So well, here's yeah. the effort to educate right. what the hip drop tackle is. We've well, got a, an actual graphic. This is internal graphic well, that sources close to me have made available. You go ahead and say Okay, some well, cool. I just want to, like, off of something. that. And there's, look at that. there's a Tony anyway. Pollard one from last year, right? There it is. See, he breaks his ankle right there. But, like, to your point and, and what J.J. said, I love J.J. and what he's done to stick up for the fine system. We talked about that a little last week, right? But, like, J.J., what I would want to say to J.J. Watt is, like, come on, you're sticking up for the players and all that. And I know defenses are under attack, but I'd go, come on, this is, like, this is the most dangerous play in the sport right now. People are dropping, like, flies because of it. So, you know, I hope he can realize that and and, and what he's been talking about with the passion of the finding of football players. Look at this and go, this is something that is taking a lot of money from players, too. And Tony Pollard probably would have a long-term contract. If this wasn't an issue or didn't have a broken ankle, he wouldn't have been so desperate to take the franchise tag. So it's hurting players too. And go ahead, Mike. I'm uh, sorry to jump in there if you want to no, read the fine. definition. But of- you're right. You're right. His No, no. He's waving that flag. They're stealing money from players. Well, you're stealing money from players, allowing them to be injured gratuitously on a tactic that can be eliminated from the game and should be eliminated from the game. So here is the internal document that we have gotten access to. This defines the hip drop tackle. First, you grip the offensive player. The defender has a grip on the ball carrier with one or both hands. Part two, rotation and twist. The defending player uses the grip and swings or rotates his body to a position behind or to the side of the ball carrier. And then comes the drop. The defending player drops the bulk of the body weight directly onto the ball carrier's legs as opposed to the body weight landing on the ground first to absorb the impact. That is the hip drop tackle. Yes. That is the definition. You know it when you see it. Grab, twist or rotation, and fall onto the legs of the player, or the player's weight falls onto his legs, just like the horse collar. Yep. Same idea, same risk as the horse collar. The horse collar was gone 20 years ago, years before they were forced to have an epiphany about brain safety and it sparked a longer-term effort to make the game safer for all players. They recognize the horse collar's got to go. This is one that they recognize has got to go. Same type of injury, same type of risk. And if we're going to talk about stealing money from players, this play steals money from players that's because right. it renders them unable to play and it makes it harder for them to get their next contract. That, that's right. And, and it, you know, again, you know, we want to we want entertainment. We want teams at their best, all of that, right? Let, let's, I mean, hey, look at the names we've mentioned already. You know, I mean, it's Mahomes, it's Tony Pollard, it's, oh, it's one of the best tight ends in football not named Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's Tyree Kill. It's the MVP of football. I mean, we the, of all the, like, yeah, of all the plays we're talking about protecting players and we want the stars to be available, well, the stars have the balls, the ball the most, and they're the ones getting hip drop tackled. You know, talk to Mac Jones last year on the Calais Campbell tackle. That was hip drop-ish. Is that not hip drop-ish? I believe so. Maybe maybe the Patriots would have made the playoffs last year if Mac Jones didn't get hurt right here because of the hip drop and then he couldn't play the next week against Green Bay and they lost. Right? I mean, so you now and maybe we wouldn't be talking about Bill getting Bill Belichick getting fired, right? Because they went to the playoffs last year. So th- this has got to go. It's bad. This is hip drop all the way. Body weight on the leg. Mac Jones. Yep. Thank God he didn't break his ankle. It's actually a miracle he didn't. And that's where we've seen players, defensive players are under assault. I won't disagree with J.J. Watt, but we've seen the defensive players make 
unbelievable adjustments about target area, taking the helmet out of the game, doing all that. They were very difficult. I think this will be easier to fix and get out of the game than, than even those hits are. Yeah, because it's. I think it's easy to spot. Yeah. It's easy to flag. They need to have the league office involved in – during the games, helping the officials on the field once they eliminate it. But I think it's just a matter of time. Yeah. And that matter of time is three and a half months. Late March, it's gone. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.